A new book called Rising Star by David J. Garrow claims that former President Barack Obama and Michelle almost weren't a married couple. <gasps> Don't talk like that. I know. According to the book, <laughs> it's alleged yeah. that Barack actually asked his girlfriend from back in the day, Sheila Miyosi Yagar, to marry him not once, but twice. Oh, because no, Sheila was 23 and Barack was 25, Sheila's mother said that they were too young to get married. And eventually, Sheila and Barack, you know, they grew apart due to his political aspiration. And he fell for Michelle. And the rest is history. Wow. I know. That's Thank crazy. God for that. Yeah. All right, so ladies, I want to know, because people are making a really big deal about this. If you, if you found out that the man that you are with had uh, proposed to another woman before you, would it make you feel some type of way? Would you feel okay. upset can, about that? Can I just step in? Yes, yes. yes. girl, oh, go ahead. Thank you. First of all, he saved the best for last, which was Michelle, okay? And second of all, he wouldn't even look good with that lady. That lady looked like a grandmama. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's not kill what the lady looked Look, like. I'm trying to understand why they're making a big deal out of this. I mean, it's, he's a man. He was going to date of other course. people before that. He wasn't that. three years old when exactly. he met her. He had I mean, probably had a girlfriend before. before. Yeah. In fact, it's not a big deal at all. I don't think it's a big deal. Because, of course, we know Mr. Barack Obama has some game he's got uh, going on. He's a good looking man. <laughs> but Girls you got to him. admit, yeah. you know she regrets saying no. Oh. Now, you now, you know. That's oh, the story. The story isn't, that oh, my God, he actually ask someone else to marry him. Like, people have lives before you but meet them. I'm just going to tell you something, Lonnie. What? The one that regrets is Barack Obama for asking that lady to marry him. <laughs> he, he almost messed up. What? Yeah. He, he almost, almost, he, he almost messed out. up if you really he's like, think He's about like it. this. But this is... You this. got me, God. But this you is what me. I believe in faith because he asked her twice, okay? <gasps> he asked her twice. She said no. And then they grew apart. So really... It's really not her mistake. Who is it this It was the woman? fact that... Because she still has a life. She right, still right. has a life. She's doing good. You can say what you want to say, but she still has a life. It just was not meant to be. Right, That's all right. it is. Destiny. Right. I know? believe in it. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Now yes. another one, another one, another one. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Messy.com. I know. Okay. Wait, wait. wait. So, have what you, you ever... Can't. Straight up. Have you ever really wanted to be with somebody... Like, when you're young, you're like, oh, my God, that's the man I would want to marry. He's yes. everything to me. Like, this is the dude. And then he maybe he dumps you or he breaks up with you, breaks your heart in some type of way. You move on in life. And then his picture comes up on Facebook 10 years later, and he looks terrible. Okay. Yes. And you're like, thank you, God, for looking out. <laughs> he was not the one. When you look back, you're like, yo, that didn't work out for a reason. Ooh, I absolutely let me tell have. you, I that happened His to plan me. is better than yours. One of my college <laughs> boyfriends, okay, because I don't want to, okay. One of my college <laughs> boyfriends, right, just put it like that. Okay. And he ended up marrying somebody else. He got married, and I ended up doing my thing. He came back, we got in touch with each other. He was a drug addict. Oh. Yeah. So, see, you can sit back and think that destiny is not on your yeah. side, okay? It is on your side. And the thing is, is that he's not on drugs anymore. He got off of it. But can you imagine what that if he would have been yeah. with me, Damn. I wouldn't be where I am today. No. So, sometimes you got to listen to destiny yes. and your intuition. Yes. And, yeah, that's I mean, true. Adrian, we share this story. We've been there. We both have been engaged to yeah. before. And can you what, say that one more time so it's not just me? Yeah, we both you have been there before. It. We <laughs> both have been engaged. We and both before, have been engaged once One time before. before. Not yes. four times like the yes. blogs may tell you. I've been I got engaged once, once before. So when I met my man, both of us had been engaged and we didn't work out. And at the time, it really does. For anybody who's, who's the engagement didn't work out, you feel like you did something wrong. It's you feel like you're making the biggest mistake. You got to tell everybody it's in your so friends. It's so embarrassing. It's just, it's, it's painful. And for Freddie and I, it actually bonded us. The second we met, we talked about it. We right. talked about what she did wrong to you, what he did wrong to me, why it didn't work out. So we connected on that and it was able to keep us real. And we thought we grew up. We thought we were like so much more mature because we got married and we liked uh, we, we liked each other for the right reasons and we knew what to do to not mess it up. But then I didn't realize how childish we were because yeah. one time I was in Philadelphia and I was holding Freddie's hand and we were walking and he goes, oh God, oh God. And he, I go, what is it? And he goes, that's her. I go, who, which, Ooh. what? And he goes, that's the ex. And I look and it was this, it, she, 
She was all right. She wasn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, you keep going. It wasn't you. But then something came over me, and I just said, hurry up, kiss me. And I grabbed his face, and I was like, <laughs> all over, right? And he was like, oh my God. And then I just wiped my mouth and I just looked at her and I was oh like. Oh my God. And I just so went and I couldn't. You had to do it. I did. And I don't know why I was so childish, but it felt so good. <laughs> that is real. Yes.